Hi, it's January 30th um, and you're probably starting to think about growing tomatoes even though it's cold outside. The seeds are in the stores and it's time to buy them. So you're wondering what kind of tomato seeds should I buy? Well, I'd like to point out that I'm still eating my Juliet tomatoes that um, I grew this summer and I picked off right before the frost. We're in zone 7 here in Central Virginia and usually we have a frost uh, before the end of October so I go out before that and pull all the tomatoes off and the Juliets are great to pull off and save um, because they will last, the tomatoes will just continue to, to ripen. Yes, they're not as good as what you get in the middle of the summer but they're still better than what you can get in the store. So, um, and they're extremely plentiful. So uh, these are, this is the seed packet. Ferry Morse and many others sell Juliet hybrid tomatoes. And you can see from this picture, it shows a lot of tomatoes. And I can tell you that I, when I grow these, I have tons of, they outproduce all of my other tomato plants. And they, because they're smaller, they ripen early. And also because they're smaller, you don't have the problem with birds. Birds will get on your big beefsteak tomatoes and um, peck a hole in them and you know, then they're ruined. And uh, these, it'll fall on the ground and they can go eat one, whereas you have all the others. Um, other people also sell these. Oh, this is also a Fairy Morse product as well. I didn't notice that. But um, I would uh, highly recommend these. It is not hard to grow uh, tomatoes from seed. Uh, it's too early to start them, but it's not too early to buy them. And it's definitely not too early to think about the kinds that you might want to grow. And I recommend the Juliet hybrids, and I also recommend, um, this is a burpee product. This is burpee, 4th of July, and I don't have any of those left because they, they don't save real well, but they do, they are very plentiful. They do ripen early and um, keep producing up into the frost, and then the frost will kill them. But um, they're, they're delicious. They have a great flavor. I love these. Um, my two favorite kinds. And um, in case you're wondering like, hey, what's inside of these tomatoes? How are they? You cut them open. Yeah, they look a little, a little pale, but they taste, they taste delicious. I can't recommend these tomatoes enough. Grow these Juliet tomatoes. And you wanna plant them about a month before you're gonna put them out. And in Central Virginia, the last, uh, Frost, average frost is April 15th, but that doesn't mean on April 16th you go out and plant your tomato plants. You probably want to wait a week or so after that and then put them out. Um, so back it up four weeks, whatever zone you're in, um, four weeks um, before you're going to put them out because they take a lot of babysitting and a lot of work. And these Juliets, uh, they'll really, they'll like gangbusters when you first grow them. So that's what I have to say. Today is July, maybe the 12th, and um, in Richmond, Virginia, Henrico County, and I came out to pick the tomatoes. Unfortunately, it's really hot out here, and I saw something. I saw one of those caterpillars. Okay, you always got to watch in your tomato plants. For the hornworms because they'll just like devastate it. I was out here picking and the first thing you do you'll notice 